Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, East African Adventures. Today when I woke up this morning, I wanted to start up the vehicle, but we'll just start. So, I didn't know really what was going on, but every time I, used, I was pushing the start button, there was a clicking noise coming from that area over there. So, I knew there was power getting to here, because also the lights were coming up on the dash. So there's power coming up to the switch, but it wasn't getting to the starter motor. So I came round and my friend was uh, turning the key and pushing the starter, and this relay here was working. So what I found is I followed these cables back down to the starter, and the starter and the cables were very loose, were looser than that. And they were, the nut that is there was so loose and the connection was so bad it wouldn't start the engine. I could start it using a spanner, so I knew there wasn't a problem with the starter motor, but the cable was loose. It's probably from all the off road driving, and that is the, probably the main issue that was going on. So, always important disconnect the batteries when you're doing this job because these up here have got a lot of power they've got like main voltage 12 volt power coming and when you touch if you touch the exhausts you will spark it you could blow a fuse you could damage something so it's important not to have the batteries connected so I've got two batteries so I just disconnected two it's normally advisable when you're working on the vehicle to disconnect both batteries because you can short something, so it's always good just to, if you can, disconnect both batteries when you're working on the vehicle. So let me try and tighten that up a bit more. I just wanted to introduce you to a little piece of kit that I like and I made. Basically it's a light bulb with a light bulb holder and two cables coming out of it. Simple piece of kit for doing testing. So at the moment I've done it for simple purposes and I've just connected it straight up to the positive, the blue cable's in the positive and then the earth wire, just touch it on this battery holder here like that and you've got your tester. So this is a little test kit that you can use if you're in the bush with a Land Rover you can use just this and you don't have to buy a whole tester kit because this basically does everything on a Land Rover. But it just lets you know basically if a cable is, you know, this one's got power coming through it, this one's a bit, and the bulb is quite good because it shows you sort of like, you know, sometimes it'll be really bright. Now if it's got a really good connection, really good. If it's not so great, it'll just go like that sort of thing. Just go on. If it's really good, if you push it right on there, it's got a nice connection, but if it's sort of like just sort of just, just waving it across, got a little bit so when you're doing that on small cables and stuff if there's not much power coming through it will show in the bolt so you know you, you get used to it but on a Land Rover you can pretty much do everything with that and um, now back to the main video and we'll see what's happening right now I've tightened back the batteries again let's see if she starts nicely That's all right. So just a simple thing really that was happening just to do with the old starter. And it happens because things do move when you're doing a lot of off-roading and here in East Africa we do have quite a few off-roads to deal with. Things do come loose. I've had quite a few things, a few things come loose over a time period. I've even had the alternators, especially this one. This is the additional alternator that has been swinging around all over the place I heard then the belt snapped just because of just off-roading um, you know you're getting a lot of shaking on these roads a lot the vehicle gets shaken up quite a bit so thank you very much for watching east african adventures please like and subscribe if you've got any uh, questions about the vehicle or any questions about anything really that i can answer for you please leave a uh, Comment in the comment section below.
and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.